Okay, so the guys over at Race Room Entertainment were very kind in giving us access to a press copy of the game entitled The Race Room Racing Experience. It's an open beta and it's free to play. This press copy was lovely because it apparently gave me access to a lot of things, such as more cars and more tracks. But I wouldn't know it. I played the game for about two hours and I still haven't noticed any difference. I guess I may have noticed if I didn't have them in the first place, but I haven't really at the moment. Now, for this review, you must remember that it's in an open beta and the fact that it's free. So many of the negatives are really much less of a problem than they may seem, and the positives are extra bonuses. It's free, so I can't really complain. I'll start off with the negatives and move on to the positives, if that's alright with you lot. First of all, the game must have been designed for people who own a steering wheel attachment for their computer, because as far as I can tell, it's impossible to play without one of these magical steering devices. And it's not just me. I asked lots of people, and apparently it isn't just that I'm bad at the game, but they also shared the same opinion with each other and with me, that it really could be better when it comes to that kind of control. I have tried really hard to play this game to its fullest, devoting a whole two hours of my life to this game. But that's okay, because at least I didn't need to pay for them. The second thing that frustrated me with this game also amazed me, but one may be indicative of the other. The menu system was simply mind-blowing, but not necessarily in a good way. I didn't understand anything about it, even the big green play button. The press pass apparently gave me access to stuff, but I don't know how to access it or what any of the acronyms mean. I'm sure the entire game would make much more sense to an American who watches NASCAR or something, but an English person who likes casual games, I can just about get my head around the concept of a track test, but not the concept of a racing game in which basically all you can do is track test without spending half an hour clicking on acronyms to find ways to challenge other people who have spent even longer in the menu working out how to customise what should be called a racing experience, but in actual fact it's called a track test. So I couldn't play the game properly and neither could most of my friends. I couldn't use the content I had, or customise anything, only play the same way that others had in the past. But this does bring me onto the good bits. This game is very community based in that people have profiles, and people can view those profiles. I got bored of mine pretty quickly anyway. I uploaded a picture and went looking for something else that was new to the world. I didn't find much. And then I stumbled across the whole racing leaderboard challenging thing. Which in actual fact is pretty cool. Oh, wait, that's already a thing. Yeah, it isn't by any stretch new, but it is well implemented, and I would like to give them at least some kudos for that. If any of the developers are watching this, then the following is what I would like you to take from this video. The menu is intuitive, and I like the concept. It is however complicated, so either ditch it, simplify it, or make an intuitive tutorial that isn't going to make people just click next through it. Optimise the controls for people without hardwood desks and steering wheels. Let me have more control if I want it, but don't end up forcing me to choose the options that I don't care about. Allow me to remap my controls please, and if I can already, then how do I do it? You did the whole challenging and competing thing really well, but please, let me race other cars, not just ghosts of players. And finally, I'm sorry I was just complaining, but this game really does have the potential to be great. It's just that so far it's screwed up, so fix it quick, and I can't wait to play it again when it works properly with my wonderful clicky keyboard.